there's that seam. Let's go with that. Hi there, this is TR for State Coach Road Sewing Machine. Boy, do I have something cool to show you today. Look at this beautiful white sewing machine. It's actually not white, is it? It's two-tone. It's beautiful bronze and sort of mocha color here. The chrome is very shiny. You can see the reflection. And look at all this awesome mid-century styling over here in the controls. Stitch length, zigzag width, stitch selector, reverse, bobbin winder, feed drop, foot pressure, tension, and a spool for another bobbin. This machine is just an awesome example of late 50s, early 60s engineering made in Japan. Japanese machines from this era are very high quality. It's got a 1.3 amp motor. That's pretty big for a household sewing machine. So we'll see that this can sew through some good sized stuff. Let's thread it up and listen to it. it uses a standard class 15 bobbin. Let's get it in the fabric store. You know this kind of bobbin case. If you've sewn before, you've probably seen one of these. Thread it in there. Plate lifts up. Now you're probably going to want to put this machine in a case or a cabinet. We're selling it like this. If you'd like a case or a cabinet with it, we might be able to help you out. Okay, there's your bobbin in the bobbin case. Close that. Let's thread the top. Pretty simple. Look at this. Now you've noticed this, this excellent handle right here. Fairly heavy machine, but you're not going to drop it. <laughs> You've got that big old handle there. Let's bring the thread right under that piece. And then you've got a little hole there. Through the tension discs. Oops. And that in the check spring. And that. And through the take up lever. And down through this little loop. Look, you can open that up. That's where your light bulb is. There's a switch for that. Thread guide there. This machine threads from front to back. And the needle goes in with the flat side to the back. Very modern. And as usual, threading the needle is the hardest part of any sewing machine. Uh -huh, there we go. My eyes are getting old. Alright. Alright, now let's raise the bottom thread. Always turn the handle of this machine towards you. Unlike some older model whites, which turn the opposite direction, this is more. There we go, there's our bottom thread. Now we are ready to sew. Draw those to the back. Let's start with just a basic piece of brown flannel, which we'd make jammies out of. For your Uncle Bob. Put that under there. Now let's listen to this baby go. We are on a straight stitch. Now this M here, that's where you're going to want to be most of the time. Straight and zigzag. Since we have the zigzag width set down to zero, we're going to stay on a zigzag. Stitch length here, since it's a Japanese machine, it goes from zero to six. Regular stitch seems to be about two, two and a half. Corresponds to 12 to 15 on an English numbered machine. Let's go. Oops. Let's put that back up. I dropped the feed. There we go. The feed is up. Listen to that machine curve. Okay, now we're going to sew some down. Not a problem. There's that seam. Let's go with that. Pretty cool, huh? Leather, you say? Why, of course. Bonded leather coat here. I put. Well, what the heck? We've only. Let's go for two first. Now, this is only a size 14, just regular needle here. If you want to sew some stuff like this for real, you go get yourself 
a leather needle. But even just using a standard needle here, check that out. Now, I'll explain it to you about the. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Nice. In addition to heavy fabric and just basic sewing, this machine is really easy to do free motion quilting on. Let me show you some really cool features of it right now. You can drop your feed right here from high, which is for regular, the feed is grabbing the fabric, pulling it to low, which drops the feed down just a bit, so it's pulling it a little lighter for lightweight fabric, or all the way down, which means the feed is not feeding at all. You get to move the fabric. The neat thing about the feed on white machines, take off the foot to show you here. They are the only machine I have seen with feed dogs on all four sides of the needle. The reason that's important is because the better fabric support you have, the better stitch formation looks, and the more fabric control you have. Now let's put this foot back on. These are low shank feet, so when you go to buy uh, additional feet, from your favorite sewing machine store or supplier, you'll ask for low shank, which is the most common, not a problem. Class 15 bobbins, regular needles, low shank attachments. So along with the down dropped feed here, you can also release the pressure by pushing the outer ring in the patch of matting. Now what we've got is no pressure on the foot and no feed. That means the fabric is not going to go anywhere, but also means you can make it go how you want. Now let's try the zigzag up just a bit here. Now when there's no feed, doesn't matter how long your stitch is, you're doing the feeding. Also reverse has no bearing. We're just going to do a zigzag, a big zigzag free motion here. Now there are special darning feet made to help with visibility and controlling the fabric. I just want to demonstrate the fact that the machine, you can sew decorative embroidery things by moving things around. I'm going to put it in an embroidery hoop, but then look right back to regular sewing by pushing down the patch of matic and turning the feed back up to high. Now you can go right back to regular sewing with not even a blip. Now compared to some other machines where if you want to drop the feed you've got to put a special plate on or you've got to get underneath and do screws, this is very, very convenient. Let me point out a few final features here. This machine has a marked throat plate. One inch, three quarters, five eighths, a half. Easy to see. Not to mention this thing is so shiny. So this is a really, really neat machine from its amazing design and mid-century styling and colors to the fact that it just sews really well, super easy to use. All the electric parts are safe and tested. You can take this one home. Ask us how. Find us at stagecoachroadsewing.com. Thanks for watching.